Italy, and this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make Nutella and strawberry filled crepes. I am so excited to show you this recipe because it is one of the easiest things to make, but it is amazing. It is like eating a pancake and a chocolate covered strawberry all in one. It's out of this world. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to show you exactly what you, all you need. You need some whole milk, all purpose flour, eggs, salt, Nutella, sliced strawberries, melted butter, sugar, and some non-stick cooking spray. Or you could use a little melted butter to brush your pan for when you're making the actual crepes. Okay, now I do the whole thing, the crepe batter, I do the whole thing to put in the blender. This is so that it ensures me that I get a nice smooth batter. So I'm going to put in my flour, my milk, crack the eggs. Now this is a great, great recipe to learn how to make the crepe themselves. They're great to keep in the freezer. And above that, above all else, they can, you can make savory things out of them. You can make sweet things out of them. You can fill them with lemon curd or some jams and fresh fruit for a great breakfast or a side dish for a brunch. They're amazing. And they're so easy. The melted butter. The little bit of sugar. Not much and a pinch of salt. Lid on and blend this until it's nice and smooth. Batter is done. Transfer this into a bowl. See how nice and smooth that is and no lumps? That's exactly what you want. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to the pan and make our crepes. I have my pan nice and hot. I'm just gonna spray it with some nonstick cookie spray. Or like I said, you could use some melted butter and just brush it to your pan. And then I'm gonna take a quarter cup measurement right in and right away you gotta start working it. You wanna distribute this really well because you want a nice thin crepe. And these are very easy to make. They don't, they're not, they're not difficult at all. But I know that some supermarkets carry them already, already cooked. And they usually, you can usually find them in your prune section near your strawberries and your raspberries. They usually have them packed right near there. But they're so easy to make at home with things that you already have in your fridge and your pantry. First side done. You might mess a couple of them up, but it takes a couple times to get them nice and perfect. And these literally take two seconds to make. Well, under a minute to cook on both sides. A few more seconds on the other side. Medium heat, not too hot. One down. My first one always comes up less than perfect, but that's okay. Tastes great, so that matters. Second one in, work it right away. My third one done. I'm just gonna show you how to. I'm just gonna show you how to set them up. I'm not gonna make all of them. Okay. Leave those to rest there for just a couple minutes. Well, I put my Nutella in the microwave. Now, for those of you who've never had Nutella, you're missing out big time. But it basically is a chocolate and hazelnut spread that was very popular in Italy, but I've noticed now that everybody carries it. Um, so you can definitely find it in regular supermarkets. They're very, 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 very delicious. And it's very delicious. It's very easy to use. You can do anything with it. I mean, I'm going to show you that this is my favorite way. Now, because the crepes are so, so just, so, like, they're so thin, that if I would have spread this right on it, it could tear the crepes because the Nutella is very thick. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to soften it up. This is perfect. It's exactly what I want. Let me grab a spoon. Let me just set one of these crepes 
butter on my platter. And now the Nutella is very soft, as you can tell. Much easier to work with. Much, much easier. Spread this around on half of it. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my strawberries that I've just sliced. Just like that. These are so easy to make, as you can see. And they're so good. They're going to wow your guests. Or if, you can, if you're making this for like a romantic dinner, it's the perfect ending. What I like to do next is to just drizzle some Nutella right over the top. Just like that on your plate. I think it looks beautiful. I take a little dollop of Cool Whip just like that take some powdered sugar go all around the plate with it look how beautiful that is and then i take a whole strawberry with the green right attached to it and then i just slice it ever so gently fan it out and then right like that here you have it it's amazing it is so easy to make with just a few ingredients. You don't have to go to a fancy restaurant or a fancy cafe to get this. You can make this in your own kitchen, and I hope you do. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website at www.learnthekitchen.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.